You see yourself destroying the temple, killing six million Jews in the Holocaust, throwing them into stoves, making tests on, on human beings, medical tests. You wouldn't do that. But Hashem, He did. Because Hashem is on top of everything. And we believe in Him. So how can it be? And we're not allowed to ignore those questions because they're bringing us to an embarrassment, to a place that we don't know how to answer. If it's one of your questions, so you need to ask that question all the way until the one that owns the answer, until the one that has the wisdom will answer you. And it doesn't mean that you don't believe if you ask. Even the angels are standing in front of Hashem and they're asking, where is his place that we're going to admire him? Means that they felt that they cannot admire him yet. And they're asking, where are you? We want to admire you, but where are you? They were asking, where are you? So it's not a shame to ask, where are you? I cannot find you. If you find yourself in darkness and you want to see the light, you're allowed to ask. I cannot see the light. It shows on your faith. That's the biggest evidence that you do believe. Not that you don't believe. If you still ask to see Hashem, to understand His wisdom, to see what is behind, what was His intention, what is going on here, it means that you do want to see the truth. It means that you still have faith. And those questions are so important because for a person that was very far and now he decided to come closer to Hashem, how are we going to call him? A Baal Shuva, a person that owns an answer. Why he got an answer? Why he been answered? Because he dared to ask questions that all of his friends and his family couldn't ask. They never dared to ask. They rather to say, no, it's not exist, and to, to, to find that easy solution and not to deal with those deep questions. No, me, I'm not thinking. No, I don't, um, I, I don't put my mind into it. No, I'm enjoying life. Why? Because they, those people that are still far, they didn't find that desire for the truth like that person that decided to go all the way to find the answer. So he is brave for asking questions. And that's why he been answered. And now he found Judaism. And now he found the truth. And he wants to do more. And he wants to come closer and closer to Hashem. Because he is now being answered. Because that he had the power, the strength, the courage to ask the hardest questions. Just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks.